All of the problems I work through in my videos can be downloaded from accountingworkbook.com. If you'd like a copy for yourself, just click the PDF link and you can download a copy to your computer. Also found on the website are links to all of my accounting videos, not just the ones here on YouTube that are publicly listed. They're also members only videos. About 40% of my videos are free and open. The other 60% are for members. If you click one of the members links, it'll take you to a page that looks like this, says members only content. If you'd like access to that content, just hit the join button. Okay, let's jump into the problem. Let's take a look at 9-1-A direct materials variance question. Steve Sausages begins business in March. In planning his business, Steve sets the following material standard. Each sausage should take 250 grams. That's 0 0.25 kilograms of pork. And pork should cost $10 per kilogram. Therefore, each sausage could, should contain $2.50 of direct material. In March, Steve purchases 80 kilograms of pork for $750. Steve makes and sells 300 sausages and has 2 kilograms of pork remaining on hand at the end of the month. Compute the company's materials, price, and quantity variances. Okay, remember, materials, price, variance. Here's the... Uh, formula or the table I like to fill in. Uh, it's all about the actual quantity purchased times the actual price and we'll take the difference between that and the actual quantity purchased and the standard price. So let me just scroll this up so we can have everything on the screen at once. Uh, okay, what was our actual quantity purchased? Well, here we have our actuals and up above we have standards and so I'm most worried about actuals here. We actually purchased 80 kilograms of material. We don't know the price per kilogram, but we do know the total here is $750. We can work backwards and figure out a price per kilogram. Uh, so 750 divided by 80 gives us 9.375. We spent about $9.40 per kilogram. Okay, that was our actual price. Uh, now let's move over to actual quantity times standard price. Our actual quantity remains 80 kilograms. What was our standard price per kilogram? Our standard price per kilogram, the amount uh, this person expects to pay per kilogram is $10 per kilogram. So 80 times 10 yields us a total of 800. There's a difference there. There's always going to be a difference in this class. 800 minus 750, the difference is $50. The question is, did we overspend or underspend on materials? And the answer is we spent less than we expected, right? This is a good variance. We spent less, we saved money. This is a favorable variance. So it's $50 favorable direct materials price variance. Let's move over to the quantity variance, AQ times SP. Again, we can't just use these same numbers because it's a, uh, about materials used, not about materials purchased, but about materials used. So what was the actual quantity of material used? Well, I purchased 80 kilograms. At the end of the month, I had two kilograms remaining. I must have used up 78 kilograms. Now our standard price, still 10, 78 times 10, is 780. SQ times SP, well our standard price remains 10. SQ, we answer that question and it's, I went over this in the previous video, but let's reiterate what the question is. Given the actual level of output, given the actual number of good units produced, in this case Steve makes and sells 300 sausages, so given that he made 300 sausages, how much material would we expect to use? And the answer is 300 sausages times 250 grams of pork, which is 0.25 kilograms. I think that's 75. I'm gonna use my calculator though, because I don't wanna mess this up. 300 times 0.25, yeah, 75. So we would have expected this person to use 75 kilograms of sausage. This is the standard quantity. So 
let's plug that in 75 kilograms 75 times 10 is 750 750 as compared to 780 this is a 30 dollar quantity variance now is it favorable or unfavorable well we uh, would expect to use 75 kilograms we actually use 78 kilograms this is an unfavorable variance we have overused our material now our overall variance here is twenty dollars favorable but it's not all good news we may have gotten a cheaper cut of meat which has caused us to be a little bit more wasteful or we may have gotten a great cut of meat and we might have just been wasteful but so even though we would have a positive variance and Steve should be very pleased overall with this result he might want to investigate this $30 unfavorable variance. Maybe there were mistakes made that could be eliminated in the future and he could have made even more profit, right? This, this could have gone even better. As it was though, this is a favorable overall variance. They saved enough money to overcome the fact that they were a little bit wasteful or they used more material than expected. Okay, we've solved 9-1-A. If you are liking these videos, I hope you'll hit some buttons for me. Have a great day, everybody. Bye for now.